Hey guys, today I'm going to show my cousin how to build a gaming PC. It's not going to be an actual tutorial, but I will show you the basics of what I'm doing, and there are some bloopers at the end. Alright, so we're going to start with the case. Um, I don't remember what this case looks like actually at all. Do, 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 do. Ta-da! A case. So this is like a DIY PC case, which usually are pretty cheap, but it looks pretty nice. And I forgot that it has this little doohickey right here on it. Is that. there another side? <laughs> no, it's just that one. So it pulls off now. There you go. Oh, that's tiny. I hope motherboard fits in there. So here we got our motherboard. It's an Azurock G41C. Um, it's meant for an older Intel CPU, which I've showed you guys in a older video, the unboxing of all those parts I bought. It comes with some cables too. Set of cables. Look at it, it's so shiny. So yeah, I think it's a mini ATX, so it should fit in here pretty well. What I like to do is I like to make like a platform out of this. And then what we'll do is we'll put the motherboard on top of here to put the CPU and everything in. That way it's not touching the tablecloth because you don't want any static or anything on it. Oh, okay. Alright, so now you're gonna install the CPU. So that is a Intel QX. 6850, so it's an older CPU, but it's really well uh, overclockable. So take that out gently, don't touch the bottom of it. Just hold on to the sides, and you see that arrow on it? We're gonna match that arrow up here. I forgot, you have to take this off, so uh, open up that uh, clip there, hold on to something, and pull it that way and up. Which way? That way and up. So like this. Hold on to that. That comes oh, up. Okay. And then this little piece should come off now. Okay. So you're gonna grab that and line it up with the arrow on here. Where do you see an arrow? Oh, this isn't an AMD board. I don't know. Oh, it's on this head right here. So point it that way. Yeah, the way you have it right now already. Just drop it in. Yep, set it on there gently. Uh, this doesn't have pins on it, but it's still fragile. Okay, it's good. Should it pop in? This side is not as up. No, it's good. It's fine. So I'm gonna shut this now, and take that and put Push it back. It. Clip it back in, and that uh, plastic piece will pop off. Nope, just put oh. it in. There you go. I've never put an Intel CPU in before, so that's interesting. All right. Alright, so we're going to install the motherboard, but we just ran into a problem. We have to add some more standoffs, because this is set up for a normal ATX, and we have a mini ATX. Alright, now we're going to install that motherboard into there. We put the I.O. shield in already, and we put the new standoffs in. So we just have to screw it in now. Alright, so we have the motherboard installed. So typically you're going to want to install the power supply first. On this case, the power supply is on the top, but we didn't put it in because the screws right here would have been really hard to get to, as Grady pointed out, and I didn't think about. Um, so we're going to install that next. Alright, so he has the power supply right there. We didn't get a modular power supply because this is just supposed to be a real cheap build just to show him how. Um, so turn that upside down real quick. Well, that works too. Um, okay, so there's two different ways you can mount it. Since this is a top mounted case, you're going to want to turn it and have this fan part facing down so it can suck a lot of the hot air coming out and blow it out the back. If it was a bottom mounted uh, power supply, you'd have a screen right here probably. And you'd want to mount the fan facing underneath so it would suck cool air from out here instead of sucking air from in the case. But this is going to help with the cooling a little bit since we only have two fans. To put that in, all we're going to do is slide it in. We're going to screw in some screws in the back to hold it in place. And let me see what I, let me show you what I meant by having it upside down. So we're going to have it like that, so this hot air can blow up into this and suck out the back. All right, so we're going to install the RAM now, but we have to try to figure out how to put these on. I bought these RAM coolers since these are older sticks of RAM. They don't have any uh, coolers on them or any aluminum or anything to help cool them off. So let's put those on real quick. So we figured out the cooler. I think this is like the most ghetto rig cooler thing ever. Um, so this is one of those weird motherboards that was in the early stages of DDR2 and 3. So 
two of the slots are DDR3 and two of the slots are DDR2. And I'm hoping that this RAM is supported. I think I checked the RAM list and this is supposed to be able to fit on there. But uh, go ahead and line it up and put it in there. Which um, one? Which yellow. color? The yellow. D no. The blue. The DD uh, DDR3 is the blue. And these are both four gigabyte sticks. And usually these motherboards only support two gigabyte sticks, but this one is supposed to be an exception. So we're going to hope. You're just going to, uh, as you saw, just open those clips up, line up the uh, line in the middle, and snap them in. Like that? Uh, no, it's going to click. So you're going to push a lot harder. Use both hands and push both sides. And that side's not in all the way. Keep pushing this right side. They both oh, they click. Oh, okay, they are in. Sometimes they look like they are up there. Okay, get the other stick. So now we're just going to start plugging in all the power cords and everything. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show that. You can probably look in your manual if you want to build a computer and see where all those go because they're going to be different varying on the type of motherboard and CPU and everything. But I'll show you real quick. This is going to be your main power source for the motherboard and this is going to be your CPU power source right here. And then down here is going to be USB um, and these are going to be your case lights and audio and stuff like that. So we didn't get a modular power supply just on the basis of it being a lot cheaper and I didn't really care. Um, this case doesn't have the best wire management though and it's really small. So for the uh, main power cable we're just going to plug it in there and let it hang there a little bit. The other ones we'll try to wrap around but wire organization isn't our main concern right now. Did you get it in? Um, not all the way. Should there be that extra space? No. <laughs> Alright, so we have the 12 pin uh, power connected and we have the CPU 4 pin connected. I forgot about the CPU coolers. We need to put that in first before we do anything else or else we might not have enough room. So for the CPU cooler, we just have a cheap little Roswell uh, 775 socket cooler. I think this was a higher rated one and it was like $12 or something like that I want to say. So we're going to try that one out. Just, just open it up and see what it looks like. I don't know if it comes with thermal face or anything. What are you doing? Katie, <laughs> <Ready>, stop. <laughs> Alright, so after about 30 minutes of trying to figure out the stupid CPU cooler and cutting my thumb open, we got it in there, and it barely fits because of that fan right there, as you can see. Oh, let me see if this even turns. Okay, we're good. Um, so yeah, we got that in. Next, we're going to put the hard drive in. Now, this doesn't have normal hard drive bays, which is interesting, so I hope this fits in there. And, yeah, I think it's going to fit. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna put the graphics card in now. Um, once he gets that all opened, it's an R7 360, right? Yeah, an F FXX XFX R7 360, which is like a 750 Ti from Nvidia, basically. Um, and we're gonna install that. I'm running out of battery, so we're gonna try to make this quick. And we're not gonna show you plugging in all these wires because most of this will have to be done from your motherboard uh, manual anyway. But it's pretty simple. All right, so he's gonna install the graphics card now. So go ahead and put it in, like I just told you to do. Let me come around this side. So you have to get it lined up on that blue part right there. Line up. There you go. And just gently snap it into place. And there you go. And it is in. Now all you have to do is connect, uh, screw them that back part over here, and then connect the power to it, the six pin, and we're good to go on that part. I <laughs> recorded that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bloopers. Yeah. All right. So we are now done with the computer. We got everything hooked up inside. It's sort of dark, but there is the CPU cooler, CPU. Everything is hooked up. Wire organization does not exist in this computer case be just because. But it doesn't have a uh, window on it. It should be okay. And it should have pretty good airflow. We have a fan in the front, one fan here next to the CPU cooler, and then we have this uh, sucking hot air out and out. So... That is about it. So you built a, we well, haven't built one. You've watched me build computers before. This is your first time sort of building one hands-on. What do you think? It's fun. Do you think you'll remember how to do it again? No. <laughs> the wires are kind of everywhere. Yeah, well, it's just a cheap budget case, a cheap budget computer. It's not really meant to be razzly dazzly. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, everything's hooked up. I might test it when I get back home and see if it boots up and everything. But uh, yeah. Alright, so as you can see, the computer is all done and built. I do have the side of it off right now because um, I always leave it off when I test the computers just to make sure that there's no wires hitting a fan or something in there, and that way it's easier to get to in case something does happen. Um, so we're going to go ahead and test it now. 
I did have to switch out some of the RAM in it because the RAM I bought was not supported. But I did put some DDR2 in there. All right, so it boots up and everything. It has LEDs on it. Oh, look at that. We got it. It boots up. All right, I don't have my keyboard or mouse or anything hooked up to it right now, so that's why I didn't go into the BIOS. But it seems to all work. The graphics card's working in it correctly with the uh, integrated graphics somehow. I'm not really sure how that whole situation works. But I thought that I would have to go into the BIOS to switch on or something. I've never done Intel or integrated graphics before. So, But that's good. It's all working everything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, clearly it wasn't meant to be it's super instructional or anything. It was just meant to be a fun video um, teaching him how to build a computer. But let me know what you guys thought. Any other suggestions in the comments down below. Um, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more. And have a good day. You ready? Oh, oh. Not, not, not there. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, did you just start it? Yeah. We're going to build a computer! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you restarted? No, it's fine. I can edit it out. Just no. <laughs> 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 Why is that? I don't know. Okay. Is there no direction? <laughs> Quick installation. Place cooler on CPU line the first time just mother ball hole. Mother ball hole? Mother ball hole. Mother ball hole. <laughs> <laughs> mother ball hole. <laughs> What is it? What is it?